Bali ma bani rona rifiti le mona. Rifiti le mona rele mo koka rele mona meti bali mo. Malo bali ma bani rona rifiti le mona. Rifiti le mona rele mo koka rele mona meti bali mo. Kenya is a picturesque and enchanting country. It has clear blue waters and pristine beaches on the Indian Ocean. Lush highlands in the north and west that include Lake Victoria and rolling grassy plains or savannas in the south. Some of the most colorful and diverse wildlife on the African continent can be found here. These grassy plains are also home of the Maasai, a pastoral tribe known for their distinctive garb and once warlike demeanor. Although they live in permanent huts in small villages, they need to continually seek pasture and water for their herds of cattle, sheep, and goats. This means long treks and frequent relocation. It was to the Maasai Mara Reserve in southeast Kenya that we traveled with the annual volunteer trip of the Maywood, New Jersey Rotary Club in mid-July 2008. Maywood has been supporting the Epapangi Primary School there for the past five years. Our purpose was to assist and observe how Maywood has affected the educational experiences of the 300 pupils at the school. We also aim to develop a relationship with another Maasai Learning Center, Kishimura Primary School, or K-School as we nicknamed it. It was evident that great strides in modernizing the facilities and providing a safe, healthy environment had been made over the last few years. A reliable supply of clean water was established, facilitating good hygiene and allowing a school garden to flourish. A library and faculty room were created along with several classrooms to permit each grade a room of its own. More recently, girls and boys dormitories were constructed. This allowed students who traveled four or five miles a day to school to remain as residents during the week. We found much to emulate at the Maywood School. The children seemed properly fed, happy and outgoing, and the faculty engaged and dedicated. We also saw the nearly completed Rotary House, a residence and office for Mercy Purity, the local woman who was the Kenyan anchor for the Maywood Rotaries program. Until recently, Mercy was the manager of the Siana Springs Tent Camp. This is a luxury safari camp a mile away from the Empapangi School where the volunteers were based. For the past four years, Mercy was the on-site presence of the Maywood Club. Now, she is a full-time employee. We dove into the routine at the Maywood School with gusto, but it was humbling at the same time. It is impossible not to be moved by the sincerity and simplicity of the little children and the older ones too. This made us all eager to visit our school, K-School, to see whether a partnership was possible. Ridgewood Rotary has been providing hot lunches for 300 students for the past school year. We drove the 11 miles to K-School with our armed escort, Matau, who was there to scare off any curious elephants or big cats. We then met head teacher, aka Principal John. We were also met by two members of the Parents' Council outside the Principal's office. The contrast between the two schools was stark and startling. We had a long discussion explaining the objects of Rotary and offered a partnership with the school. We found the facility sadly in need of renovation and upon closer inspection, discovered that there were two unfinished classrooms. Not one of the present faculty of eight teachers could remember when the classrooms were originally built, but lack of funds brought construction to a standstill. Like the principal's office, most classrooms were primitive and poorly outfitted. The corrugated tin walls and roof of the second grade classroom made it hot in the summer and cold and damp in the rainy season. It has a hole where a window should be, dirt floors, and insufficient amount of desks for each eager pupil. In the more crowded middle grades, there were not enough desks to go around and some students sat on the dirt floor or on makeshift wooden benches. In one classroom, the sacks of corn and rice were piled in the rear for lack of proper storage in the kitchen area. 
Unlike the Maywood School with unlimited fresh water, K School depends on the runoff from the school roof, collected in large cisterns for its unreliable water supply. But all was not doom and gloom at K School. In spite of the deplorable physical conditions, we were told that the school ranked number one in academic achievement among all primary schools in the Masai Mara Reserve. Then to our surprise and pleasure, we learned that in the eighth grade class of 16 students, six were girls. This was almost unheard of in the Maasai where girls 13 to 14 are of marriageable age and are often taken out of school to be given in wedlock. We left K School with renewed dedication to the partnership discussed with John and the faculty. Rotary loves a challenge and K School provides many opportunities to make a difference, the Rotary motto for 2008. Plans are now complete for a Ridgewood Rotary Club volunteer trip to the Maasai next July. Through the members of the Ridgewood Rotary Club, their friends and others, we hope to find the funds to begin a series of small projects that will help the children of K School receive an even better education and enjoy an even better quality of life. Wash your suit, walk it, love for one more corner, a man's name, a pain,